definitely a self-made artist through and through, you know. I produce my own tracks, write my own rhymes, record, mix, engineer, the whole nine. You know, at the start of my career, for four years straight, I booked my own tours through Europe and through the States, just using MySpace six, eight weeks at a time. You know, uh, I slept on floors, took private accommodations. I even slept in a funeral home once. I didn't know till I got there. But definitely have uh, toughed it out to get to where I'm at right now. The in inspiration people would think I would get from living in Best Eye is actually not the inspiration I get. Again, coming from D.C., D.C. is chocolate city. You know, it's, it's just as, as black as Best Eye is. And I don't necessarily get the vibe here of Big E and all of the artists that come from Brooklyn when I start to make music. It's the everyday people that are walking around the street when I look out my window. My production table is right next to my window. And looking outside and just seeing life move at a faster pace than back home, that's the inspiration that I really draw from, is just seeing the pace of life here. Well, my music, I'm definitely trying to accomplish providing a soundtrack for people. And the average person, you know, I, I feel like in, in the industry we're in, there's plenty of music dedicated to fantasizing about material things and what we don't have. Uh, and there's plenty of music to fantasize about taking us outside of our existence into imaginary places. But I think music that's deeply rooted in, in the reality of everyday lives, I think that that needs a soundtrack. And that's what I try to provide with my music. Stories for the everyday man to, to listen to and, and have a soundtrack that if he's, you know, he or she is cooking in their kitchen or riding in their car, walking down the street, I try to give him music that sounds like that's what you're supposed to listen to when you're doing that.